Welcome to WTIS 16 from Cabaron in Botswana. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Onko Kame Kitsu Mokaila, who is the Minister for Transport and Communications of Botswana. Minister, thank you very much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you for having me. I'd like to start off by talking about the Measuring the Information Society report. Why is the MIS report important to Botswana? Well, as I say, if you can't measure it, you can't manage it. And therefore, it's important to know what target you are working towards. And so this is very important to us. What is the message that Botswana, do you think, will be taking from this year's WTIS Symposium? I know we're here in day one, but, but looking, uh, looking a little bit ahead into, into the, the next few days. Well, as a country, and a developing country for that matter, you want to know what your other neighbours are doing. You want to know what is happening internationally. And therefore, you know, want to know where you are ranking, because your attractiveness is dependent on your, for instance, ICT penetration, ICT availability, infrastructure, and all those things. So it's very important for any country in its development agenda, it must understand where it is positioned, because that directly affects its attractiveness. And in what ways do you think that ICTs are assisting Botswana in the drive towards the attainment of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs? Uh, absolutely, in many ways. Um, capacity development, in us understanding what we should do to be competitive, what we should do to have the right infrastructure in place, what we should do to have a proper agenda to follow. All those other areas. And finally, I'd be interested to know what steps is Botswana putting in place to ensure that no one is left behind in the digital economy? Well, first of all, understand that Botswana is a very big country. 582,000 square kilometers with a population of 2 million distributed all over this country. And therefore, the chances of those who are far removed from where the centers of uh, the economy are, are likely to be left behind. So what government has decided to do was to set up a company called Bofinet, which basically has laid out broadband um, infrastructure all over the country, fiber optic networks. It has uh, brought into the access to the sea from WEX, from the western coast, and AZ from the eastern coast, basically to ensure that nobody's left behind. We've also involved private companies to come partner with government. For instance, we've targeted populations of about 5,000 where we know it's not viable for the private sector to go. Government would subsidize those private companies to work with them. When the populations get to around 10,000, then those companies obviously can stand on their own. We've also done many studies. We, apart from just the census, there's a universal access study that was done which basically looked at all sorts of things. Um, assets you earn, health, education, all these things to determine how we know who might be left behind. So government has done all these things. These are things that um, we are looking to measure against to see how we make um, ICT accessible. Well, we wish you the very best of the future and thank you very much for joining us in the studio today, Minister. And uh, please, do check our other videos on the ITU YouTube channel where you'll find more enlightening and informative interviews and, uh, and other such uh, videos which I'm sure will be of interest. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.